Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Kerbal Space Program. So, let us continue and dive right into all of this fun stuff. So, let's see here. So, what do we have up here? So, I think this was what we did last time. Uh, haul parachute to flight, haul complete. Oh, yeah, we did that quest. It's the stack decoupler, yeah, I guess we didn't clear those out. So now we have no contracts. Um, this just shows us kind of... We can actually launch the rockets that we've got saved, which is kind of cool. That's kind of neat. You can go into this assembly plant. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some missions. I think we're going to actually... We have some science. Let's actually upgrade our science. Okay, so... What do we need to do? We need to... I'm just kind of looking at the science here. Uh, we got this here, which is basic rocketry, which is five science. So I think we'll research this for the engines and stuff. Might as well. What's this up here? This is some different kind of engines. A fuel booster. Survivability. Heat shield. I'm going to buy this one next because there's a service bay. Um, parachutes, a landing strut, the radiator panel, that's kind of cool for mining, I guess, or for cooling off, It'll help dissipate heat into space, uh, and then the heat shield for landing. And then we have also flight controls here, which would be a reaction wheel, which kind of does stuff. I'm not sure what exactly it does, but that'd be kind of cool. Um, and we got these winglets here. So we got kind of two kinds of winglets for flight control. There's aviation, which would be like the airplane stuff. Then we got general construction, crew cabins. This is probably for structural fuselage, adapters. Oh, yeah, launch stability. We'll need that eventually. It's 45 science. This is 20 science up here, so I'm actually going to buy this one here for the, the parachutes the, and the heat shield. We need that, and we have 11 left. Uh, this is 45. These are all 45 science. 20 science. So we'll probably get this one next. So that's what we're going to work towards. So, okay. Now we know with plan of attack, let's kind of check this out in here. We can still take only two quests or missions or whatever, so let's kind of take a quick peek here. Um, it's these ones we're going to need planes for, so I'm not going to worry too much about these ones. Then we got Juno Basic Jet Engine. Yeah, okay, now that, that's the jet stuff. So that's the radial, so we could actually potentially do this one. Speed, 6,270. Not sure about the speed. We'll have to kind of test with that. And there's this decoupler. Mm -hmm. Splash down. Uh, staging sequence and all things. So test brand decoupler. So Kerbin, splash down. I wonder if that's to splash into the water. That's interesting. And this is the radio decoupler. Launch site. So we, act, uh, we, we actually do this one. Escape the atmosphere. Uh, Suborbital trajectory. Look at that one. Ooh. That one into orbit. Wow. Okay. No. Okay. So that's interesting. So... 70,000 meters. Hmm. So I think we're going to take this one. This is for the launch site. Radio decoupler. Okay. And test Rocco Max brand decoupler. Well, let's do the. Let's accept it and see what happens. So we're going to need the radio decoupler. A launch site. And the, and the, the Rocco Max brand decoupler. Okay, so radio and Rocco Max. Let's go into here. Of 
Of course, this loading screen. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's take a quick peek at these. So, stack decoupler, the Rocco Max radio decoupler. So this has to splash down. How does that happen? Huh. Uh, I guess sort of what we can do, we can build a rocket. It's Rocco Max. Okay. Please be a lace dig uh, twice the size of the next leading brand. So this is a different kind. So on our missions here, we need to test at the launch site. So that's not too bad. So let's build a rocket. So we're going to do that one. Okay. Do we have a heat shield? We should have heat shield. Let's throw that on here. I'm not sure if we'll make it that high, but we're going to certainly try. Uh, utility. Landing strut. Parachute. We're, we're, we're definitely going to throw the parachute on top. And I also want to add some more of these guys. Um, two of these. Uh, let's see here. I like to click on stuff. I don't like to use the keyboard commands too much. Do that one. Okay. And actually, if you take that off, what we should do is put our science. Uh, where's our science? Science Junior. Then we can throw this on the bottom. Okay. So this is kind of like one piece of the ship. And then we can throw these guys. We can put these guys like this on that on the sides. Perfect. Then we can do our mystery goo. I think two still we just need. I'm not sure if we could use more than two. Um, let's just put two there for now. And then we're going to put. An antenna somewhere. Where should we put the antenna? Let's take off symmetry mode. Um, shift and mouse wheel to zoom in and out of your ship here. Uh, right click and hold to, to, to move it around. So let's actually just kind of do it on the side here. Okay. Um, let's see here. What else do we have to work with? Ut science, utility, service bay. Okay, no, nothing special yet. Aerodynamics. This one we want to use, the winglet. Okay, so we need to use this on the ground, right? So I tell you what, I'm going to build my ship and then I'll come back with what I have. Well, okay, here is my ship. So hopefully this will make it. So this is the one we're going to test on the launch pad. Then we're going to fire these two rockets, decouple them, f fire the middle rocket, carry upwards, then this will decouple, then this rocket will fire, which is under here. If we zoom in, how do we access that? Uh, that it's just like that, just click on it, great. Then that will decouple. And we should be over water, so we can decouple this to make it splash down in water. All right. Um, so this will decouple, then this will decouple. I think this will decouple. Then we'll have our heat shield. Then we'll be able to deploy our, you know, these bad boys. Um, you know, the parachutes and land safely, hopefully. So that's the plan. So we'll call this the Thumper, I guess. Not sure why, but we'll call it the Thumper. Mark one, and then we'll we'll save this beast. Uh, crew, who's gonna fly it? Let's actually let Valentina drive it. Our other pilot, because she needs to get some experience. And let us let's launch. I think we can just launch it right away here. Okay, well here we are at the launch pad. So let us test this first sequence right here. So I think we can right click on it to do it as well. So we can, boom, decouple it. 
Whoa. Okay, hopefully I didn't damage anything. <laughs> wow. We should have watched that. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the thumper and we're going to go towards the ocean. The ocean, I think, is in that direction. Um, or is it? No, I think it's going to be in, in that direction there. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to going to launch, turn our stability on, and then we're going to start turning. So ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom, launch. We're going to slowly change our trajectory, turn SAS on, and watch the fuel. Let's see here. Yeah, perfect. Nice, nice, nice. We need to make sure we get over the water. Sweet. We've got some G forces acting upon us. Craziness, craziness. Looks like Valentina is having a blast. Okay, we're going to decouple these. Oh shoot! Woo! Okay, okay, okay. SAS is active. No, 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 Valentina. Valentina. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that was pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. Okay, pretty tricky. Just gonna kind of keep it that way. Um, I want to go the other way. Shoot. Okay. We release that. Okay, this is our rocket, but we can actually throttle it down. Well, let's use up the fuel. Let's make sure we're heading out towards the ocean. No, no. Ah! <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. We need to keep. No, no. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, where's the prograde? No! So we obviously need more control. Uh, shoot. We're only 16,000 meters up. Uh, we should do mystery goo. Should we do mystery goo? Experiment. Yeah, we won't get much, so we will not do that. Okay, let's launch that. Should be able to decouple this. That should land into the water. Right? Oh shit. Okay. Okay. And then let's see here. I don't even know if we're doing the, the missions properly, but that will have to splash down. I hope that will splash down. We're slowly falling. Gonna wait to use the. I don't know if we can slow ourselves down at all. I'm just gonna use the parachutes now. They should slow us down. Uh, they're in yellow, but I think we will be lucky. Sh uh, we should do maybe a science lab here. Let's see, will we get science? Nah, we won't. We'll probably wait till we land in the water. Um, how about a crew report? Should we do a crew report? Will we get any science? Yes, we will get science. Let's keep that data. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So that was an interesting launch. Obviously, the rocket won't work too well. Valentina is quite happy, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting is all I got to say. And actually, let us actually... If we go crew report, cancel. If we go review report, we can actually send this data. See? And then that way when we land, we will actually have more communications. And then we'll be able to, with Valtina, do another crew report. When we land in the water, if this is still good, then we will do another crew report. Is that that is that's like air breaking? Uh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! No, no, frick sakes. Get up. Come on, what, why is it like this? Ooh, uh. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I need to make sure we keep this thing balanced. How about if we do a mystery goo? Can we do another one here? Nope. Not very much. It's only 1.6 science, and that's, that's pathetic. That's why you're going to do each of these experiments once. Look at these islands here. I wonder if they're like considered different biomes. That'd be kind of neat one day. I'll have to explore that. But yeah, let's speed up time here a bit. Uh, don't show again. We can obviously time warp this a bit. Whoa, no, no, we're facing the wrong way. Facing the wrong way. No more time warp. No more time warp. Let's get up. Ugh. Oh, we're gonna go f face first. Good luck, Valentina. Oh, hope you survive. Oh, look at that. Somehow. So, did it splash down? Or are we still waiting for it to come down? Well, good. So, it looks like we'll be in good shape, but somehow we're upside down, and I don't think I can shake it. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully your view. Let's if we go inside here. Uh, if you look up, oh, the water is coming closely. Uh, how do we get out of this view? There's a V. Yeah, V to get out. Okay, cool. Man, okay, let's speed this up a bit. So with all these parachutes, we will land nice and safely. Just waiting for this to get close. So you could do this in real time, but I think it'd be kind of pointless. Hopefully that thing will make its way and land here in the water. Splash down. I hope that's the correct. Hopefully we don't have to have it on us. Otherwise, we're going to have to do this again. And this we did do at the launch site. Not sure, not sure why this didn't register we might have to do this again which kind of sucks um, whoa yeah we made it safely perfect okay so let us we could actually uh, we'll, we'll leave the time compression a lot I thought those st oh, uh, yeah I guess that stuff isn't gonna fall okay can go observe materials bay. Ah, cool. We can keep the data. We can do um, here. We can do a crew report. We'll keep that data. And I think we can do a mystery goo report in the water here. Yeah, which we can keep that data. Perfect. And I think that's it. So the other two. Yeah, it splashed down. So we'll at least get the one. This one it didn't count, so we'll have to figure that one out again. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> so yeah, maybe because it blew up instead of surviving, I don't know. Not too sure about that one. So yeah, so let's recover our vessel. And there goes that mission. Amazing. So let's take a quick peek at how much science and stuff we get. Looks like 31 science we earned. Excellent. Get stuff back. Valentina gain experience. Beautiful. So we got 32 research. Let's check out the research. So we want to get this one, right? The general rocketry. So we get the better swivel, you know, liquid fuel engine. We get a, a different solid fuel booster and a larger fuel tank. This stuff's for, yeah, so let's research this stuff. We'll kind of do it linearly still. And down here, I think we want to do the science because we get the rechargeable battery pack, we get the thermometer, we get a better communication thing. 
Uh, here we get the better wings, right? Um, also the the wheel. Then we here we get the something to hold the ship. You'll a uh, width to launch, right? Up here. Here we got some different kind of thrusters, right? Fuel tank. A couple different kind of fuel tanks. So that's kind of cool. So yeah. So we need to get lots of science. Hopefully with this we'll be able to fly up and further and see what should we do with this research. So this is our tracking station, I think. If I right click on that. We will need to upgrade this at one point. We also will need to upgrade this. So I think we'll upgrade this one first. Because we need to increase our launch pad size. Uh, this one, I do want to increase this actually. Rocco Max brand decoupler. But I, it did. I thought, I, I thought we did finish the contract. Oh, okay, maybe we need to splash down with it in the ocean. Okay, so we're going to do this test again. Let's do it right away here. So, let's go back into here. Yeah, that's that didn't work. I thought this would have worked for sure. Right? Um... Let's see here. How about if we do it from here? How about if we do it from here? Okay. So now this sh we should be able to test successfully. Um, just thinking about this stuff. So now, I don't think we need to really decouple these, do we? What happens if you take this? Oh, no, let's do that. That one, if we do this, take this off, put this here. We can always move these in front of the decouplers. So, for example, this decoupler. Oh, shoot. We're still going to launch it down here on the launch pad, which it should count. I don't know why it didn't, uh, so that should count for that, right? So I think this will be okay, and then maybe with these we'll just have it fire all three at once instead of separately do that. We actually don't need this one anymore. This can kind of, what? So these two can, can decouple with this one. This can fire, then we can decouple it. And this one actually we will not decouple. Let's put these bad boys into here. So I think this should work. We're going to splash down with it and see what happens. So yeah, so let's do a quick save here. Let's do uh, F5. No, we don't need to quick save. Um, okay, let's take a quick peek here. Um, height, weight, let's see, height, width, length. Electric chart required but not generated. Right, okay. Unused, model propellant resource. So we could actually, the model propellant we could actually do that with. We don't need that. Okay, so let's actually save this ship. This would be the Mark II now. It's not really a thumper, but that's okay. We go save. Let's go launch. Okay, perfect. So now we're on the launch pad here with our new and upgraded launch pad. And now, I still have it facing the wrong way. I want it to face the other direction. So, Kerbin 
launch site test the radial decoupler to perform the test activate the part through the staging sequence and all yeah okay so this is what we'll do we'll space bar right <laughs> Okay, so that one worked this time, and now we're going to launch, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to head towards you know, that direction, and hopefully we'll make it. Here we go. Here we go. Turning, 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 so we make proper velocity. <coughs> Up we go. G-forces in play. Need to make sure we make it over the water. Kind of pushing up as well. I'm gonna run out of fuel here pretty quick. Bang! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, we need to. Come on! No! Oh no! 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 I didn't want that. I pushed the wrong thing. Pushed the wrong thing. Okay. Okay, okay, uh, that's okay. It, we still had velocity, so now we're flying over just as we expected. Perfect, so let's actually take a quick peek here. I'm quite stable with this, which I'm quite surprised. It's no, no crew reports. How about a mystery goo? Will we do a mystery goo? No, the mystery goo won't matter. Okay, so now we're going to fall to the earth. This should... Ooh, I'll make sure we're still... Still being controlled here nicely. Just going to stay into the center of the nav ball there. And we can actually speed this up a bit if we're... Oh, it's kind of tough, right? This is the thing with the game, with Kerbal. Is sometimes you don't want to see what speed are we at 213 12 we're actually slowing down now which is nice I'm gonna push I'm gonna push this okay it might have been too early but that's okay now we need to see splashdown test rock max brand decoupler so maybe if we go decouple oh okay we're pushing it down so we'll see what happens splash down oh you know what oh no 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 can we go back we got revert flight uh revert to launch i completely understand now how to do that one we need to make sure that we okay so this one we can test this one so let's do it ourselves bang okay test to that that should be completed see that didn't count so let's do this again vert flight vert the launch Right, test. Okay, so we will spacebar that. That that worked. Now we're gonna going to do the launch sequence. Okay, we're gonna make sure we turn. Okay. Perfect, perfect. We're going to the 90 degree, exactly what we want. Gonna turn SAS on. These are gonna be a, out. We go. Okay. Okay. And this bad boy, we need to readjust. Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh, come on, Valentina. There. Uh. Oh, shoot. Okay. There's that. Now we need to splash down, and then we can decouple it. I think that's the whole point of this. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Because we don't have SAS on. Okay. There we go. 
It's pretty surprisingly stable with this decoupler on. Then we'll land in the water and then I think we'll be able to decouple it. Makes sense, right? I'm not sure why we have this stage here. But that's a blank stage. It's probably from that one decoupler we used to have. So yeah, I will speed it up here and let's see what happens. So far so good. Uh, we need to make sure we're aware of how far to the ground we are. Okay, I'm going to hit space. These are deployed. Now that should slow our descent. Let us, I hate how it flickers like that. Not sure why. Oh, see, look how it exaggerates the movements. When you're, you're in full time warp. Okay, I'm slowing down. Slowing down, slowing down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Perfect. Now we can speed it up a bit. So we can get down the water. That really slowed us down. So it's going to be very, very, very gentle. Which is what we want. And hopefully we'll be able to decouple it. By hitting the space bar again, I think that's how we have to test it. And I hope so. <laughs> hope it's as easy as this. We'll see, Valentina. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. Um, how about observe materials bay? No, that's not good. How about Mr. Goo right here? No, that's no good either. How about crew reports? No. Okay. Oh, bang! We're just splashed down. Okay. So does that meet that requirement? It does. So let us decouple that. And bang! That Now we completed that quest. Perfect. Let's just make sure that we can we double check these. Um, well, since we're going to... Let's, let, let's keep that. Uh, mystery goo how much do we get from this let's just keep that anyways and the crew crew reports yeah we get nothing for that okay perfect so that will complete two missions so let's recover the vessel perfect look at this 18 science earned not much but it's a start it's mostly we were completing the missions so for the funds that's why we were doing it and so now we're at 106 again i apologize for having to do that again but let's just kind of clear these out got completion for that one and completion for that one beautiful so thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this second episode didn't really explain much but you kind of watched me kind of grind out the science a little bit and and do all that and so unfortunately we have to keep doing that so we, we can expand this place and, and move forward so yeah so thank you everybody for watching and i look forward to seeing you all in the next episode bye bye